Welcome to our next video, Flashing Sonoff Zigbee Dongle Plus in Windows using Python. Flashing the Sonoff dongle is an optional step but recommended as it ensures you are using the latest firmware. It gives you access to the latest functionality and lets you support a greater number of devices. There are two methods to flashing the dongle. One method involves dismantling the stick and pressing a bootloader button. This method uses a Python script to perform the flashing operation, with no disassembly needed. First we will need to install Python, which will let us run the scripts required. To do this, go to the URL listed both on the screen and in the description below. Click on the yellow Download Python button. When it is downloaded, run the EXE. When prompted, make sure the Add Python 3.10 to Path button is ticked. Then click Install Now. Next we need to check if the Windows driver for the Sonoff dongle is up to date. Plug the dongle into your PC. If you're using Windows 10 or 11, right click on the start button. Click on device manager. If the driver is not up to date, you'll see a yellow warning triangle on the device icon. If you don't see the warning triangle, you can skip this step. Go to the URL listed on the screen and in the description below. Click on the Downloads tab. Click on the CP210X Universal Windows Driver. This will start to download. When complete, open it up. Click the Extract All button to unzip the files. To keep things neat, I suggest adding a Sonoff folder one level up in the folder to extract to. Click Extract. When complete, go back to the Device Manager. Right click on the Sonoff dongle and select Update Driver. Select Browse My Computer for Drivers. Click Browse and navigate to the folder you extracted the driver to. Click OK. Then click Next. Finally, click Close. The device should now show correctly. At this stage, take a note of the COM port that the device is showing, in this case, COM3. We need to run a few Python commands to prepare the environment for flashing the dongle, as well as backing up the current firmware. Open up a command prompt, PowerShell or Terminal Window, preferably with admin. Type the command shown on the screen, which is also in the description below. This installs the Python package installer, pip. Type the next command shown on the screen, also in the description. This installs some components needed for the script. The next command installs a library needed for the script.
Finally, this command backs up the current firmware on the device. Be sure to match the COM port you noted earlier. The firmware will be saved as the file name shown in the current directory. The script will read the dongle and back up the current firmware. When this is complete, we need to download a bootloader. This puts the device into a mode where it can accept the firmware upgrade operation. Go to the URL shown on the screen, click code and download zip. When it's downloaded, open the file. Click Extract All, then select a location, preferably in the Sonoff folder suggested earlier. Click Extract. Now we need to download the new firmware itself. Go to the URL shown on the screen. The file needed is the top one, however you can scroll down the screen to double check. Click the file. Click the download button. Click the file to open it. Select the file and copy it to the same folder as the bootloader. Take a note of the firmware folder. If necessary, keep the folder open so you can refer to both it and the path needed. Open up a command prompt again and navigate to the folder that the bootloader script is located in. Once you are in the correct folder, enter the command shown, again also in the description below. Make sure the COM port is correct. Also make sure the file name matches the one you downloaded, as it might have changed since this video was released. Press enter. The upgrade process should begin and should complete in a short time. The Sonoff dongle can now be plugged into your Home Assistant installation and you can proceed with installing your Zigbee coordinator. Please see my other videos for instructions on how to do this. Thank you for watching. If you like this video please like, subscribe and click the notification bell. If you have any suggestions for topics you want me to cover or have any comments, please leave a comment below.